You gotta be the two feeling when your wig's on tight. You gotta be the two feeling when your wig's on tight. And your house starts shaking. Knowing what's after graduation is really scary. You sort of don't know where your life's heading. The uncertainty, it's kind of annoying. I would have to say probably graduating at the peak of an economic crisis. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get a job. The worst thing about your 20s is still feeling directionless when you feel like you should have some pretty good directions by now. You're an adult and yet not. So you're like the, the infants of adults. Feeling scared, being depressed, having th ideas in your head of what you want with your life, but not having those things yet. I would have to say uh, my first threesome. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Start over. The best thing about your 20s is feeling more in control about sort of the directions that you take. It's being independent, being able to, you know, take care of myself and do what I want when I want, pay my bills. I kind of get excited when I pay my bills. I don't know why. I just feel like powerful somehow. 20s, you get to explore who you are and kind of experiment with different things and meet new people. Just the freedom, being able to do what you want, when you want, go where you want, no restrictions really. You can sort of travel, see the world, explore life. I think the opportunity to learn about ourselves is an interesting time. I think it's fun sometimes to be young and discovering things and figuring out <laughs> That crazy ass <laughs> This is the youngest I'll ever be, ever, and it's so fun to spontaneously come and sit on this bar and drink beer with really awesome people. College, college is pretty rad, so that's, that's fun. Live in the moment and do what you want to do, whatever makes you happy. Not to think that your 20s are the best decade of your life because they're probably not going to be because you don't have anything figured out yet. And just to try and make the most of it and enjoy not having lots of ailments and just try and get through it the best you can. Life is what you make of it. Make the most of it. Live it up. Be responsible. Be adventurous. Follow your dreams. Surround yourself with people who are smarter than you. Finish school, find a job, put yourself out there, make money. Stay in the moment as much as possible because we only get this once. Yeah. And you, sir? Hi, and welcome to the Low Budget Geo Show All About the 20s episode. And today we are here with expert on 20s, Reed Brown has joined us, which is such a special treat for everyone involved because it's Reed Brown, and who's cooler than Reed Brown? Nobody. Nobody. Clearly. So, Reed, we're talking about our 20s, which in my opinion is a little bit on the difficult side, although it, it seems like you should have be having so much fun, it can be kind of scary. But what do you think? I mean, for me, I guess the 20s are all about trying to make moves and hustle and not really about succeeding I mean <laughs> because if you if you don't succeed I mean you should be going after what you want in your 20s yeah and if you don't get it well that's what your 30s are for <laughs> <laughs> let's hope let's hope anyway yeah. yeah what do you think is what you thought your 20s would be like versus what your 20s actually are like well I, I went in with the science major so I didn't really have you know amazing expectations so I'm I mean I'm using my major which is what I'm I'm happy about I'm not quite making as much as money as I wish I was it's more money but. than I make because <laughs> I'm but. literally making none but I mean I'm trying to get back into grad school wasted a little bit more time than I wanted to getting back but yeah I'm basically on track I yeah think. what would you say was the best thing so far about your 20s and what's been the worst thing Best thing, probably working for the EPA and actually making some serious cash for two years. That was that was pretty Please sweet. Please explain for our viewers what the EPA is. Envir U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. Uh, so you're saving the world. Yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Whenever we get funding. Yeah. 
Uh, and then the worst thing, I guess, was probably having to move back to my parents after college. I mean, are you still there? I am still there. So how many years has it been? It's been well, since I graduated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but when did when was that? Four years? How long have we been out of? I graduated two thousand and nine. So yeah, I guess about there. I'm living at home too, so it's yeah. all good. It's all good in the hood. I mean, it's one of those things. It's just like you get to save money. It. I mean, it's an incredibly lame decision to make, <laughs> but I mean. I take the trash man away. <laughs> it's, I say. it's a I lot. Think... It's a lot better than you know going into debt trying to live in some crappy apartment or being homeless, which no, that would suck. That too. would be really bad. <laughs> that yeah, would be horrible. Hmm. So I have to ask you about your dating life because really that's the only reason I asked you on the show. It's all a rose to propose to you. <laughs> How has living at home affected your dating life? Do you have a dating life? <laughs> <laughs> well, I live at home. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so really, no. Um, so yeah, I just really haven't really had much since <laughs> college. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well Reed, I have to tell you one of my concerns, glad you asked, about the 20s. Well, it's everything because I'm an anxious person in general and I just freak out about everything. But it's like, oh my god, what if I never have babies and I don't get married? So I'm going to have to bring up... I'm gonna to have to bring up the yearbook thing, which was my senior year. You did say in my yearbook that if we weren't married by 35, you would marry me. Now, let's have on the record, is that a true statement? Let's go for it. <laughs> okay, good. You heard it here, guys. There's no escaping that. That's, let's, okay, 35. Well, maybe we'll both be moved out of our parents' house by then. <laughs> God, I hope so. That's gonna be really sad. <laughs> Just think how much we'll save for the wedding, though. Oh, Jesus. Oh, goodness. So, you actually have a sister in her 20s, too. Yep. Do you think that there's a difference between girl worries in their 20s and boy worries in their 20s? I mean, probably not a whole lot, except for, I mean, the whole ticking clock, <laughs> biological clock thing. Right. I think guys stress about that much less than girls. What advice do you have for people in their 20s? I would just say... You know, do what you can. Figure out something that you love, whether or not you're going to make a lot of money. I think money is the worst reason to do something. Go after what you love, and then if it doesn't work out, then, you know, have a plan B. Go back to school, or just get a job doing something. <laughs> I don't know. But I definitely think you should use your 20s wisely. Don't waste them. Yeah. But Use it to try to go after what you want and not necessarily worry about that bank account. Excellent advice for someone like me. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here. You're, you're a treat. I, I love Reed Brown from way back. How long? I've known you since we were 11? At least middle school, right? Middle school. Yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for coming on Thanks the show. Having. Bye. See ya. What does that mean? I don't know, but this ice cream is good.